Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. My name is Jazz Faye Campbell and um, as you know uh, from my channel that I like to experiment, um, paint pour and swipe techniques is the recent uh, experiment that I'm trying to do and I'm really enjoying it. So this video is a highly requested video by most of the subscribers who've asked to see what the end result of my canvas, what my paint pours and my swipe techniques look like and I didn't um, have a chance before but now that all my canvases have dried and um, I would like to share that with you so don't go anywhere just keep watching and also before I go I'd really like to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers and um, all my subscribers from way before when my journey first started on YouTube um, and I really like to thank all you um, subscribers out there for supporting my art, my, my artwork and my art channel and it means a lot to see uh, that people actually like what I do and support it. So thank you so much. So um, I'm going to show you my uh, canvases in a minute and, and I would love to hear from you if you have any suggestions, any comments, any advice for me and thank you so much for those subscribers who have been advising me in the past uh, leaving me a comment in my comment box and it really means a lot and I do appreciate the fact that you know people are watching the videos and they are uh, giving me tips as well so that means a lot so I'm going to show you my canvases I'm also going to show you where it probably went wrong or it didn't dry really well or I'm going to show you all that is now so don't go anywhere and I'll see you in a bit thanks guys okay guys so here are my canvases so I want to show you this one first this was my first ever swipe technique but as you can see there's no cells left the uh, paint kind of just spread and fell off the canvas it's it's left a really good effect I really like you know the end result but I lost the cells and the reason for that is I think that there was too much pouring medium my my paints were too um, runny and I think that's what happened with this one but the initial result was really good and the other other reason why I think that I lost uh, the uh, cells was because I was using these golden high flow acrylics these are high, highly pigmented so you just need a few drops so there was no paint there's hardly any paint and there was a lot of pouring medium so I guess that's why there was nothing for the paint to kind of hold on to so it just kind of vanished so that's that one and yeah okay the second one was the swipe the two-in-one the swipe and the uh, flip cup that I did with the uh, metallic uh, paints the copper gold and silver and then I swipe with black so this is what it looks like it's dried exactly how it was swiped so there's been no changes in this canvas and here's the edges it's nice it's uh, it's kept its um, design and there's been no changes as I said in this particular swipe and and then with the leftover paint I did a paint pour and it left like a python skin on it and there's no change in that either so this dried really nicely as well I very, I very much like this this uh, this effect with the uh, metallic paints I think they give give a really nice and shiny and glossy finish to your paintings and they weren't really expensive paints I was using I think it was two two pounds a tube and you get a lot of paint in that so I think they're well worth it okay the other one I did was the uh, green um, and brown swiped with white and the cells were really nice and small and I understand this the the more you mix your silicone the smaller your cells are so I'm going to try and not mix my silicone too much so that I get bigger cells in my uh, swipes and my paint pores so this one also never changed in any way it's kept its uh, design and the sides are all covered yeah and the effect, there's this one this was the rose effect uh, 
painting paint pour that I did and I created a rose and then I added some stems and some leaves but you can see down here uh, the paint kind of just fell apart because I think there was too much paint and uh, it probably was running off the canvas but it still has the design and I like the background but so not much cells just a few cells here and you can see the leaves have kind of disappeared into the background but overall not bad okay then I have this one here which I, I think I posted the video a couple of days back and this was a quick and easy paint pour with gold uh, true blue and festive green and a bit of titanium white so again with this I feel that maybe the cells have kind of disappeared but they're there and it hasn't changed at all since I did the paint pour maybe just a slight bit but it's very glossy for some reason I have varnished it but maybe it's the metallic gold that's giving it a glossy look but yeah this is the uh, one that I did a couple of days back and then this is this one here is my uh, swipe again technique that I used with uh, a, a blue red primary blue red and honey brown and then I swipe with gold and there's the sides and I think it was Debbie uh, hi Debbie, Debbie from Aglick Pouring. She asked me about the sides of my paint pores and what they look like. So yeah, that's what they look like. And the finish, uh, it kept the design. There was not, no change. The cells are all there. It dried really well. It's a pretty good design, I think. And it, I've, I've varnished it as well, so hopefully it should stay this way and also this one I really like because this was my double flip cup um, technique that I used using a double cup that I got from a grocery store and I really like the results it's more of a marble effect than it is cell formation there are cells around here but it's more I really like the way the colors interacted with each other I like the color combination and just the flow is really nice and uh, cool I think so that's the edges and yeah it's a pretty design and then this was the swipe using the same colors um, I just uh, poured them randomly and I swiped over I'll put all the links down below on this video to watch the videos that uh, I that I use to create these canvases so that's about it guys and uh, for those of you who asked me uh, the silicone is uh, the, the treadmill oil it's 100% silicone and I got this from Amazon and then I've got the Floetrol which is a paint conditioner which I also got from Amazon and I've got a heat gun here which is pretty used as you can see all the paint and uh, this is also from Amazon I think it was 10 pounds not bad and well worth it this was my first ever silicone spray from Cloplast and I got this from Groovix um, which is a local hardware store and I think it's a really good spray I think I prefer this to the treadmill oil so I think I might get a few more bottles of these and this was about three pounds here in the UK um, not bad and um, it's it's easy to use because the other one I feel is a bit messy but you know what everyone's different and everyone likes using different things the um, things that I said to you that what went wrong with my paint pour was this one here too much um, uh, pouring medium that didn't allow the cells to hold and the colors just kind of merged and but it's in the end it's still a good effect and I like it but everything else is great 
apart from this one where the uh, leaves kind of went into the background and that's it really guys so hopefully I should be doing some more paint pours and swipes and um, trying to be more creative and see what else I can do with uh, the paint pour and the swipe techniques because I do find that they are limited and there's not much you can do with swipe and uh, paint pour you can only switch your colors or you can change your swiping technique but I think it's quite a limited um, a technique if there is any ideas any advice or maybe I'm wrong and there are other ways I would love to hear from you guys so I can experiment as well so thank you so much guys for watching and I do appreciate uh, you holding on to my uh, till I showed you my finished canvases and of course any questions leave them in the comment box and thank you so much don't forget to hit the like button if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and share thank you so much again until my next video take care god bless bye Sire, i really want to do a video